When I was about 18, Mallorca was the place to go if you wanted two weeks of beering and burning it up in the sun. Now it seems it's the number one European cycling destination. You won't be a cyclist for very long before one of your chums suggests a trip to this beautiful Spanish island. While there are indeed still plenty of boozy bars and nightclubs where you can drink the night away with a group of lady prison officers, I kid you not, Mallorca has just about everything a cyclist could ever want. It has quiet roads with courteous drivers, fantastic scenery, flatlands, mountains and of course great weather. I mean, what's not to like? It's precisely for these reasons that traditionally Mallorca has been the destination for many of the pro team's early season training camps. Even now, if you go there in early spring, it's not unusual to be riding alongside the greats, even if it's for only a couple of nanoseconds as they whiz past you up one of the iconic climbs. Situated in the Mediterranean, Mallorca is the largest of the Spanish Balearic Islands and is about 90 minutes flying time from the UK. Its capital, Parma, is in the south, along with its main airport, which is one of the busiest in the whole of Spain. While many package tourists head a little further south to Magaluf, cyclists generally base themselves up north in the quieter resorts of Palenza and Alcudia. Up here you'll find the famous lighthouse at Cap Formentor, as well as the classic climbs such as the Col de Batala, or Look, the legendary Sacalobra, and the island's longest climb, the Puig Mayor, or the Pig, as many Brits call it. The climbs themselves are certainly tough enough to make you feel like you've achieved something and to give you a thorough workout, but not so tough that you'll want to get off your bike, curl up in a ditch and cry like a baby. Of course for every climb there's a descent, and the 12 km downhill off the Col de Femina from Luc to Gotmar has to be experienced to be believed. Thousands of cyclists from all over Europe head for the island all year round, so most of the hotels are cycle friendly. The road surfaces are generally very smooth and well maintained, although up in the mountains they can be a little less looked after, probably because so few cars actually use them. Without trying to sound over dramatic, I personally would say that Mallorca is about the closest thing to cycling nirvana it's possible to get. So that's the lowdown on cycling in Mallorca. But because I grew up in the UK in the 1970s and 80s, I'm pretty much obliged to say the water in Mallorca don't taste like what it ought to. And for all of our international chums who have no idea of what I'm talking about, if you click on the link in the description to this film, all will be explained. Thanks for watching.